What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to order and compare fractions that have the same numerator. So let's see what that all means in a moment. Let's go. So the first thing we need to understand is what is a numerator? Well, the numerator is the number that's on the top of a fraction. So this five would be my numerator. And then the number on the bottom, this number is called the denominator. Okay, and what we're gonna try and remember today is when the numerators are all the same, the larger value, so the fraction with the larger value, is the smaller denominator. Let's see what that means by breaking down these fractions. So what we can see here with my three that I'm gonna try and order, I'm gonna put them in order from smallest to largest, I can see that we have numerators that are all fives. But my denominators, the number at the bottom, are all different, which means that my chocolate bars have been split into different amounts of pieces. So in this one, I have five sixths. So that means this chocolate bar beneath has been split into six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Whereas the second one has been split into 10 pieces. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And the last one is eight pieces. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, when we're trying to order them, we want to see which one has the biggest value or the smallest value. So we can help put them in order from smallest to largest. So in this first one, I have five sixths. So I can see I have one, two, three, four, five sixths. And if we think about my five six, it's pretty close to the end of my chocolate bar. So I have quite a lot. Now in the second one, I have five tenths. So although I still have five pieces, I have five tenths. Two, three, four, five. So because my chocolate bar has been split into more pieces, 10 is more than six, each piece is actually quite small. So you can see now, this only gets me half of my chocolate bar. And then in the last one, I have five of these eighths. So I have one, two, three, four, five of them, which we can see is just a bit more than half. So even though in all of these fractions, I had the same amount of them, I had five pieces, because they'd been broken down into different amounts of pieces, so this one had six, this one had 10, and this one had eight pieces, that determines, that tells us how big my pieces are going to be. So let's put them in order. I can see the smallest one that I have here is my five tenths because I only get half of this chocolate bar. So my smallest is five tenths. Let's put smallest on this side. Then the next one I can see is my five eighths because I just get a little bit more than the half. But the biggest one that I get is five sixths. I nearly get the whole chocolate bar on this one. But that's a little bit strange, isn't it? Because look, when I look at my fractions now, five tenths is smaller than five sixths, even though six is a smaller number than 10. Well, that's because when we're looking at the denominator, if we have a big denominator like this 10 over here, it means that we've had to split our chocolate bar into lots of pieces. And then I only get five of those little pieces. Whereas with five sixths, it means I've only had to chop my chocolate bar into six pieces and I get five of them. So I get quite big pieces. Oh, I'm just gonna pause the video here, guys. I would like you please to think about subscribing. If you are enjoying this video and it's helpful, press that subscribe button, help me out. But for now, let's jump back to the video. For example, if I said to you, you can have one half of my chocolate bar or you can have one one millionth, which one would you rather have? Well, the one millionth looks massive, doesn't it? Because of this million number. But actually, if you think about it, that means that I've had to chop my chocolate bar into a million pieces. Oh my gosh, can you imagine how small those little pieces would be that I would get, and I'm only getting one of them. Whereas my one half, it means I've chopped my chocolate bar into two equal pieces, and I get one half. So I actually get quite a lot. So when we're ordering and comparing fractions that have the same numerator, so in this case one, 
but they have different denominators. The denominator that's the smaller number actually gives us the bigger fraction. That's a bit confusing, isn't it? But hopefully this has helped you understand that. Let's look at comparing these fractions. And we're going to compare them using our smaller than, our greater than, and our equal to symbol. But let's just remind ourselves what this means. Smaller than means that 3 would be smaller than 5. And we use the smaller than feature because 5 is on the right-hand side and our crocodile would want to eat the 5. Whereas this second one, the crocodile is facing the left-hand side, so the number on the left-hand side would need to be bigger than the one on the right-hand side. 8 is greater than 3. And equals 2 means that they're the same. So 8 is equal to 8, for example. So let's put those symbols on the right-hand side. Let's put less than, greater than, and equal to, because we're going to want to put one of those in our circle here to compare these two fractions. Now let's think about this before we start. I have two-thirds compared to two-sixths. Which one do we think is going to be more? Well, this one has a six on the bottom, which means it's a bigger number, so surely that's more. No, because remember, this now means that my chocolate bars have to be split into six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Whereas this first one, my chocolate bars only had to be split into three. One, two, three. And when I get two pieces of each, we can clearly see which one is bigger. It would be my two-thirds. So I'd put two-thirds is greater than two-sixths. There you go, that is how to order and compare fractions that have the same numerator. Let's look at what to remember. The numerator is the number on the top of a fraction, and the denominator is on the bottom. If the numerators are the same, then the fraction with the smallest denominator is actually the larger fraction, because it means we've had to split it into less pieces, so each piece will be bigger. Your turn then. Have a go at ordering these three fractions here. I want you to put them from smallest to largest. Have a go answering this. Put your answers in the comments section. I'm going to try and mark them all. Press pause now. Good luck. And there you go. That is how to order and compare fractions. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com to see lots more videos and all videos in sequence so you know exactly what to do next. But for now, guys, I'll see you in another video. Peace out.